Well, hello there, friends. Compound butter. Oh, I made five of my favorite ones. One of them is, that I love the most is brie and caramelized d'oignon. Oh, delicious. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making compound butter together. Okay, garlic butter. It's probably the one you're going to use the most often. You can put it, uh, cook some shrimp. You can put it on the garlic bread. You can rub it on your body. <laughs> anyway, friends, uh, very simple. I got some soft butter. We're going to put some, uh, I have about three, four cloves of garlic and a little bit of parsley. And we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay, in a food processor, it's easier. You don't have one of those? Let's chop it up fine. That's okay. It'll work just as fine. We're gonna put a little bit of salt in our butter because I use unsalted butter. If you use salted butter, obviously you don't need it. And we're gonna put a little bit of black pepper. You don't have to, really up to you, friends. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna clean the side of it. See a little bit, the side. <laughs> Love that smell. And uh, that's it, chop it up. Oh, techni technical issues. There you go. All right, I'm also going to put a little lemon zest. A little acidity in there to do some good. All right, and I'm not going to tell you how to use the tool because you all know how to use it now. Right, remember, the tool on top of the lemon, not the lemon on top of the tool. Very simple. And this is going to give us a little freshness, a little clean, fresh lemon. Lemon is wonderful. Lemon is a magical ingredient. Acidities are wonderful. You gotta put a little acid to balance the fat, you see? Just one lemon, boom, boom. That's it, let's make sure it's good. Okay, we're good. All we gotta do now is take this, let me remove it out of the way so it's not in the middle of the cameras. Let me remove this. Let me put this out of the way. Let me put this in here so you guys can see. Very simple, you see. Now I use parsley, but you could use cilantro also. It'd be delicious. If you like cilantro, use whatever makes you happy. Eh? Let me put this over there, out of the way. I may want to save this guy. I may need it. And then what we'll do, we'll mix all this up really well. And then we're going to make our little uh, cube. But voila. You see, that's pretty simple. Mix it up really good. And then, we're gonna put it in our, make a little roll out of it there. And the best way to do this is to take a plastic wrap. I have this wonderful dispenser that I bought 20 years ago online. I wanna make sure my a uh, cutting board or my kitchen counter is wet, so I have a wet rag, and this will make the plastic rack, plastic wrap, stick to the board. You see? I'll show you. Make sure you don't lose control of it. You see? So now it sticks. And now to make it easier, friends, let me put this side of the way. This will make it easier for you to be able to roll the bottle, you see? Right, a little trick of the trade here, friends. Put the butter in there. See, boom. And then, I always got another little spatula to clean the spatula. <laughs> no, I was ready for this one. You see, there we go, friends. Uh, pretty simple so far, right? All right, let me take this out of the way. So now, what I have to do is I have to take my film and wrap it, go around it, go around it, and then grab both ends and slowly roll it, slowly roll it. See, look, slowly roll it. And now, friends, you have a perfect little roll. Then you can close like this. 
put it in your uh, refrigerator or put it in a freezer. That's for a garlic butter. Okay, friends. Maple, maple, <laughs> maker, ma <laughs> maple bacon. <laughs> it's not easy to say. Maple, ba <laughs> I can't do it. One of them, and sounds great. Maple bacon butter. Maple bacon butter. Oh, delicious. We're going to start with a little bit of olive oil yeah? to give a head start to the bacon. <laughs> and I got a bacon right there. I'm going to put it in there, my friend. I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to have the fat melted. So, so we can use and add some bacon fat with butter. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're in heaven here in this channel, my friends. We love butter. We love bacon. We love onion. This is the channel. <laughs> the real cooking channel. God bless you guys. All right. Hey, give me a minute, my friends. <laughs> give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, uh, give me a minute to melt all that fat right there. Uh, to get, we do it slowly, okay? You know, I don't like to do this fast, so I'm going to do it slowly, friends. Slowly, slowly. The, the purpose of it is to melt the fat and not bruise the lean part of the bacon, all right? And, uh, and I cut it up in little pieces, as you could see. And then we're going to add garlic. And then we're going to mix it with the butter with a little maple, maple, maple syrup. Uh, all right, friends, so we're going to cook all this up, render the fat, which we're going to add to the butter, of course. We're going to let it cool, and we'll mix it all up together. So we'll be back when the fat has melted, the meat has had an opportunity to get a little crispy, and, uh, and we'll add the garlic, all right? We'll be back in a minute. Okay, friends, as you can see, the, uh, the lean part of the bacon is a little crispy. Uh, most of the fat has rendered. And uh, if there is a little bit of it, it's fine. I'm not too upset about that. I think it's good. I'm scraping um, the pan. I'm using my reduction pan. I'm scraping it as much as possible so I get all the burn, the little uh, crystallized bits in the bottom, caramelized bits in the bottom. And then I'm going to put my garlic, okay? I'm putting about a, a good tablespoon of garlic. The heat is off. The heat is off. I don't need the heat on. There's enough heat in there. To, uh, to remove, to, to um, take all the fragrance out of the garlic. You can smell it right now, even with the heat off. And I'm going to take this, my friends, and I'm going to pour it all in here. It smells amazing already. Uh, the, the, the garlic smells great. You can smell the bacon. And, uh, and that's it, my friend. We're going to take this. We're going to wait for it to cool. And then we're going to add it to the butter and finish the butter. All right, so we'll be back in a minute when this is cold. Okay, friends, the, um, the bacon is cold and, uh, and, and the garlic, and I'm going to add some chives, a little onion flavor in there. And uh, so my butter is soft, and uh, the maple syrup, you can add as little or as much as you want. That's really up to you, my friend. There's no right or wrong here. Uh, you may not like it too sweet, and then and, and, and don't add that much. All right, and, uh, and then the bacon... And, uh, and the bacon is cooked now, so it's fine, right? And then we're going to put some salt and pepper. Don't forget salt and pepper, eh? as much or as little as you want. And uh, a little, little salt. And then we're going to put a little chives now, and then we'll mix some more till the end. And, uh, and the butter is soft, you see? It makes it easy. You have to have soft butter, otherwise you have a tough time mixing it, you see? And then, and this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. You see right there, I'm just gonna add a little more pepper and a little more chives. All right? And that's it, my friends. You have yourself right there a beautiful uh, maple bacon butter. Maple bacon butter. <laughs> now, you know, of course you can put it on the steak, of course you can put it on, on anything, but don't forget, a nice, nice piece of bread. <laughs> It'll be delicious. All right, like I said, put as much or as little of that as you want. And uh, we're going to do the, the, pack the packaging again like we do, because uh, some of you may just come in just to see that one video, and then I want to make sure 
you see all the ends. That's why I'm repeating this throughout the whole video so everybody can see it. Take the film, take this out of the way so it's not in Jack's way. We're gonna go right in there. But they make sure it's stuck, sticks to the board, eh? And then with the hot water, I mean, the, the hot water, with the water, makes it easy, my friends, all right? So look, boom, 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 boom. And we take the bottle right there. And I wanna make sure I put it on the board now. <laughs> Not uh, missing the board. You see, that's it. And uh, there you go. That's it, my friends. I don't want to waste nothing now. I got salt and pepper in there. I got everything. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You know, I've been known to forget things sometime. <laughs> once in a while. Once in a while. I don't want to get a bad reputation now. Put it right in there. And go slowly. See? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then you grab it, and then slowly, 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 making yourself a beautiful roll. And voila, my friends. We're gonna refrigerate this dude. And this is for maple bacon butter. Okay, friends. This one is a shallots and red wine redux reduction. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the reduction first, okay? And then we're gonna use a little butter. <laughs> Just a little butter. And we're gonna put a lot. More the better. It's butter we're making after all. <laughs> I got some uh, shallots, I got about two big ones. I got two big shallots. I got those big shallots we get. We're really, really lucky. We've got beautiful shallots. What I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to reduce them. I don't want to leave any shallots in there. I got those big shallots. Then, uh, then we get at the grocery store. I show you. I'm telling you, they're huge. Look at those things. Look at those things. Huh. Look at this. I mean, that's the shallots. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them. Uh, to caramelize a little bit, right? And then, oh, the smell. The smell you get out of a, a shallots in cooking butter, it's sexy. I'm telling you. You, oh, you try it. You try it. Slowly now. Don't burn them. You know, shallots are more delicate than onion. So you got to be like um, just very light golden brown. We're going to put a red wine in there. We're going to use a, uh, a Cabernet Sauvignon. You can use whatever wine makes you happy. And we're going to reduce it. We're going to reduce the wine down to almost nothing. Just enough we're going to keep. We're going to get rid of all the alcohol. So for those of you that are worried about the alcohol, don't worry. It's all going to be gone. In the air. Oh, okay, so we're doing a wine reduction to intensify the flavor of the wine. To make it soft. And that's exactly what we're doing. We get rid of all the water element of it to reduce it. That's what a reduction is. All right, friends? And we're going to use some tarragon. You can use sage, you can use whatever herbs you like, thyme, rosemary, whatever it is you like, my friends. It, it, you pick the herbs. That's the beautiful thing. Remember, it's always about what you like, not about what I like. It's about what you like. But I like tarragon, so I use tarragon. But you can use whatever you want. And then we're going to put a little garlic. We're not going to burn the garlic. See, look, look, it's almost there, friends. I don't want them to be too dark now. You can put them... Cook them a little more. Now, if you don't have any shallots, can you use it with onion? Of course you can use onion. Of course you can use onion. Um, not quite as delicate, but yes, you can use onion. See, look, it's not much right there. So the, my little thing right there was full of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of shallot, diced shallot. I took two big ones like this, all right? So look, put a tarragon in there, or sage, or whatever it is you have. We're going to put a little garlic, little garlic. And how long do we cook the garlic? You know it. Yes, you know. You know how long we cook the garlic. We cook it until you smell it. Smell it. It releases the amazing flavor. Now, oh, red wine reduction. And um, <laughs> holy macaroni, the whole bottle of wine. 
for a half a pound of butter. Yeah, but that's going to be a nice reduction. So, done. We're going to bring this to boil. We're going to reduce it down to almost nothing. And then we'll make the butter. We're going to let it cook, okay? Okay, friends, as you could see, <laughs> We went from a whole bottle of wine to, to almost nothing. So, you know, I, 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 uh, what I did, I, was, I moved the pan around to clean the pan. You know, I moved it around like this. And, uh, and, and we, yeah, we have to do it, otherwise your pan uh, your, uh, your is going to be tough to clean. And, uh, and, um, and also, it's important because we got some nice flavor right there. All right, so I'm going to take this, friends. And... Uh, Ooh, the pan is hot, let me tell you. It took about 15 minutes, friends, so don't be in a hurry, okay? Don't be in a hurry. But we take this right there, and we're going to put this, and we're going to refrigerate it, because without putting this in the butter, we're going to refrigerate it, and then we're going to add it to the butter when it's cold. All right? So we'll be back in a minute when this is nice and cold, and we mix it all up with the butter. Okay. All right, friends. And you know, when you take it out of the fridge, you shouldn't have much more liquid left. If you do, it didn't let it evaporate enough, then strain it out. You don't want it to be too liquid. You see, look, guys. It's wet, but it's not liquid, liquid, liquid. Eh? So um, we're going to put salt and pepper. I'm not sure that that is true. I'm going to need it all. I may have put a little too much. And we're going to gauge it, too. We're going to gauge it together, together. And, uh, and see, you know, I'm going to use about half of it and see how I go. Uh, I want it to turn out like uh, pinkish. Because um, I may have done a little too much. We're going to find out. We're going to see right away, friends. We'll do it together. You see? And, uh, um, you know, you can do so many things with it, obviously. Um, and, and, and Jack gave me an idea. He says, you know what? Hey, scramble eggs. Just take a piece of this and put it in scramble eggs. Your garlic butter or your, or your red wine butter or, or your bacon. Bacon. Oh, yeah. The ba bacon maple, maple bacon butter in the scrambled eggs on an omelet. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to put more. We're going to put more. Yeah, we may need it all. We may need it all. You see, friends? We may need it all. We want it to be, uh, look at this. Yeah. Now we're talking butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's good. I, I think it's good. You know, I, I think it's good. I'm going to put it all in there. I'm going to put it all in there. So, and now we're going to put some uh, uh, parsley. You can put a little cilantro in there if you like cilantro too, friends, okay? And, uh, and that's going to give us a nice bright flavor and, uh, and nice color. And, uh, and voila, my friends, this is it, see? And the butter has to be soft, remember, eh? when you do it. So leave it at room temperature. Look, look, look. I put it all in there. Everything. Let me take this out of the way. And then we're going to roll it like we, uh, we've done all of the uh, other ones. You see? This is it, friends. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, that's pinkish color. It's perfect. We're going to wet... The cutting board, right? Wet the cutting board. Then we're gonna take the film, right there, right? Take it out of there. Make sure it sticks. Voila! Put it right in there. Let's take it out so it's not in the way of the cameras. And we'll put that right in there. Yeah. This tastes delicious. Yeah, here you go, my friends. You see? Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. Ah, the expression sometimes. There we go. Stay. All right, so look. Take it right there, friends. Remember, it's easy. I got some in my hand. It's easy, easy to do. See, look. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure it's full. And then 
Hold it and then gently, gently. There's a hole in there. You get back in there. There you go. Gently. Voila. And this is a shallots and red wine reduction butter. Okay, friends. Very easy one. Pesto, sun-dried tomato, and goat cheese. Oh, if you don't like goat cheese, put blue cheese. Delicious. All right, friends. We got the pesto in here. And uh, I, in case you, uh, you don't have a good recipe for pesto, you should check it out over there. We got a nice recipe for pesto. You can make it. Put it in the freezer. All right. We got the, the, the pesto in here. And, uh, and we'll put the goat cheese in there. Now, like I said, you don't like goat cheese? Don't put it in. Don't worry. It's okay. So goat cheese in there. It's amazing. Those three flavors together with a pasta dish. Oh, amazing. A little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. Chop them up. Nice and fine. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. And all the rest of the flavor is in the pesto, friends. You see? All the rest of the flavors is in the pesto. Mix it up really good. And now the three flavors are going to stand on their own. So when you test it, you'll be able to test your goat cheese. You'll be able to test the, the pesto. And you'll be able to test the sun-dried tomatoes. And voila. You see? Nice and fresh looking. Beautiful. All right. And if you have a little pieces of uh, or goat cheese and have not integrated, I love them. They melt in whatever it is you're cooking. And this is right there. Okay, we're gonna put our um, wet cutting board. We'll put some wet. Remember, it's gotta be wet before you put the plastic. Right? And then we're gonna put our plastic right there. And we're gonna do the same thing again, you see? Put it in. Make sure it's nice and wet so it stays. Voila. Got your plastic on here, you see? Let's take this out of there. And let's put our butter. Let's make sure I don't put it on Mr. Cutting Board. And here we have it, friends. You see? Voila. Pretty simple, eh? This is a simple, and it's delicious. You put this with a pasta dish or a chicken, you're gonna get all those flavors together. So we roll it, same deal, right there. We roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then all you have to do is twist it and gently roll it so it gets together into this nice, see right there, it didn't get together, but it will. There you go, right there. There still is a bubble, air bubble in there. That's okay, there it is. That's it, my friends. It's done, pretty simple. Sun-dried tomato, goat cheese, and pesto butter. Okay, friends, this perfect for meat. <laughs> a brie. Golden figs, caramelized onion butter. Oh, this is going to be delicious. So I got my half a pound of soft butter, and I got a, a two ounces of brie. And what I did is I removed the, uh, the rime on the brie, and, uh, and I let it go for about uh, uh, three seconds, four seconds in a microwave. That was the only way I could get it to be soft. Three seconds, I think it went in there. So I'm going to mix it really good. And um, we want the brie to be in the background still, uh, but we want it to be present. If you want more brie flavor, then, <laughs> and then put a little more brie, that's all. This is uh, one and a half ounces, actually. Or maybe almost two ounces of brie. That's what it was, yeah. So mix it up really good. And then um, a golden fig, you see? You can get them like that dry, golden figs. And I chop them up in nice little pieces. And uh, we're going to incorporate them. And then we got the caramelized onion, and there's a link 
uh, right there for our caramelized onion. They're amazing, friends. Really, really delicious caramelized onion. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. Because I use unsalted butter. So we're gonna mix those right there. And then for um, a little bright green flavor, uh, color, and a little flavor, we're gonna put some uh, freshly chopped parsley. You can put chives also in there, but they'll burn if you put them on a barbecue. Uh, faster than the parsley would. And right there, you have a brie, caramel adonio, and fig, a golden fig. You can use also a, a black mission fig. They'll be fine as well, the black mission figs, okay? A little more parsley. And right there, we got beautiful butter. And this, my friends, on a veal chop, on a pork chop, on the on the steak, on the grill, a piece of this on it. Oh, oh, oh delicious. All right, so we got it ready. It's well mixed, yep. Yeah. So now we're going to wet our same principle. We're going to wet our cutting board, right? And then we're going to take our plastic wrap. And we're going to take a piece and put it on. On our cutting board. Voila. And make sure it's right on there. We're going to remove this thing. And we're going to put our butter and do exactly the same thing. Okay? So here we have it. Kind of try to do it in the middle. Oh, this, my friends, is delicious. Let's try to make it as even as we can. And voila. We'll wrap it up like we did the other ones. And voila. That's it. And now we're going to take our, uh, our paper right there. Gently, 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 gently. And then we're going to... And remember, we're going to go slowly, slowly, and slowly, and right there, we got ourselves a beautiful caramel asdonio, brie, and fig butter. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoy making them. <laughs> that caramel asdonio and brie, I told you I love this one. And, uh, and don't discount the sun-dried tomato and goat cheese. That's very, very good also. You can use that for... Poultry for seafood, it'll be delicious. The caramel has on you and breeches to come back to it. This, my favorite, is uh, for meat. I slice it, put it on the steak, then just comes out of the oven or on the grill. It's fabulous. The, um, uh, 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 the bacon, uh, maple, bake, bake, make them. <laughs> Maple bacon butter, that's delicious for anything, my friends. And then garlic butter, a regular butter, garlic butter to do, you know, with shrimp and seafood and chicken, whatever it is. And then, of course, the red wine reduction with shallots. And this one, I highly recommended also for poultry and lamb and, and, and steaks and anything. I hope you enjoy making them. You can make them. You can freeze them. They last 17 years in the freezer. <laughs> Mine never last more than a few weeks, but... Uh, or you can also put them in little containers, little eight ounce uh, type of wear type container. Might be easier for you to go in and get a spoon. But if you're not going to use them within two or three weeks, then you want to freeze them. All right, friends? I hope you're making. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching, friends.